This is an Audi A6 saloon. It's a two litre TDI S-Line Multitronic and it's a four door, 2013 on a 13 plate. It's the S-Line, it has leather and it's finished in uh, silver metallic. The car has done 69,095 miles. It's two owners from new, is MOT'd until at the moment the 24th of 5th, 2018, but it will have an MOT which will take you up to the 23rd of the 5th, 2019. Um, beautiful car, very, very economical, very fast. Um, urban, 47.1 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 64.2, and combined 56.5 miles per gallon. North 60 of 8.2 seconds, and a top speed of 130 miles per hour uh, out of a 175 brake horsepower engine. Um, it is not, it's not just economical as far as miles per gallon, but also the road tax. Six months is £74.25 and uh, 12 months is 135 Now, just going through the specification, the service history. Unfortunately, it does have one of those silly digital service histories and uh, these people who are proper little garage have got nowhere to register the service onto the Audi database. Um, very, very selfish system from the big manufacturers uh, trying to cut the, the small guys out. In my opinion, just put a service book in and let's do the job properly. If you want to keep your digital service history in, on your Audi computers, fair enough, but don't cock everybody else up by excluding them. Um, th this car has the digital service history, which the car was serviced at 19,285 miles, um, and that was on the 28th of April 2014, so that was done at Liverpool Audi, and then the next owner has had it done at IDM Auto Save here, so full service, fit new brake pads, and uh, it's also had a uh, air particulate filter. Now, that's a load of paperwork when we could just have a little service book and the Audi dealer could stamp it and so could IDM autosave and the owner would have a little book always kept in the car but as I say the, the big boys trying to spoil it for everybody and uh, make it harder for people like me used car sales to uh, check the provenance of the car and do our due diligence checks which we always do and we verify the services. Um, right. Okay, I'll just take you for a drive. First of all, I tell you what, I'll, I'll start it up because open the doors, start the engine. Now, one, one thing, I, again, I have a habit, very impatient driver. As I'm getting in the car, I've already started it and usually trying to drive away. With the Audi, you select D you're not you're not going to go anywhere the the brakes on however <laughs> if you've uh, got in the car you've put your seat belt on safely and you've looked all around and checked your mirrors before you're going to set off if you then touch the accelerator the brake comes off uh, automatically so make sure you put your seat belt on before you set off um, the other thing is if you uh, open the door the car cuts out. It's uh, it's very very safety conscious. If you've no seat belt on, the car will cut out. So here we've got it's finished in um, Ava silver um, or ice silver metallic, whichever silver they've decided to call it this week. It's got uh, black leather. It's sport seats. They're built up around the side. You've got lumbar support, electric lumbar support here. Um, we've got a front central armrest which uh, has two kind of openings you've got a 12 volt power socket here and also auxiliary in there here we've got two cup holders under cover now um, one of the things I found apart from the electric ha electronic handbrake that's a, a little bit of a drawback a Starbucks Ventilate if you put it in there it's quite a tight squeeze and then when you go to pull it out you have a tendency to pull the cap off. Again, that, that could just be me. But apart from that, that's about the only thing I can find wrong with this car. It drives absolutely superb. You've got 
brushed aluminium trims to the dash, the gear tunnel, the door cards, um, the leather is superb. We've got the S-Line embossed leather here and on the driver's seat. You've got the S-Line badge here. You've got S-Line trims on the uh, sill panels and uh, nice big thick automatic gearbox which you can use as a semi-automatic or you can use it as manual if you want by knocking the gear stick over and then just using it push forward and down to change down. Your radio controls are here, you can also fast forward your CDs or even control your um, iPhone or iPod or whatever. So you've got radio, media buttons, nav button, telephone button, the car. If you select car, you can, you can then choose between efficiency, comfort, automatic, dynamic and indiv individual. Easy for me to say there. Into systems, there you go, driver assist, speed warning, parking aid. It's uh, lots of stuff to choose from. You've also got automatic hill hold. Um, one thing I really hate on cars these days is the stop start function. You, you just get to a a junction it's your turn to go and the car decides to choose that moment to cut out and then you've got to touch the accelerator for it to start again by which time you set off and the car's 20 yards closer so the first thing I always do is, is is knock that off that anything else is up to you you've got a hill hold here a little button here going up a hill you don't roll back it's um, they kind of think of everything and again you've got the electronic handbrake so off we go we've got remote central locking electric door mirrors the door mirrors are heated we have global locking here your electric window switches here and uh, off we go it's extremely warm today so we'll turn the air conditioning up Here we go nice dark headlining and it's kind of uh, sculptured as well so more headroom above the driver and then you've got the center panel in here your door mirrors operate from this switch click it over as I say I'm, I'm using this car at the moment it's really economical and it's lovely to drive We've got alloy wheels front and rear parking sensors you've also got the optical display for the parking sensors so you can see if, if you've got any beeping you know whereabouts it is so you can adjust your steering angle we've got uh, coolant temperature on the left rev counter on the left digital speedo in the middle and also your, your fuel trip counter which again you can change if you click in this uh, menu here you can change between onboard computer efficiency program digital, digital speedo and cruise control we'll just put it on cruise control for the time being and then as soon as we get up the motorway if the motorway is clear I'll uh, check the cruise the car's very, very quiet, very comfortable. Um, I prefer Audis to BMW. I, I, I think the ride isn't as harsh. And certainly, if you get the Quattro, you can obviously feel a little bit more through the, the front wheels. But uh, very comfortable, plenty of room in this car. display shows you the outside air temperature how many miles the car's done 
and also your uh, trip counter and just give it some gas here and very smooth gearbox and you've also got the paddle shifts on the back of the steering wheel which you can override change down and uh, up as well here we go we'll just change down actually going too fast there which uh, is testament to the Audi because it hardly feels like we're moving got auto dip rear view mirror here cruises down here you've got your uh, height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel the control is there to loosen it off and put it where you want to you can uh, clip the display away if you want well I like it there if, even if you've not got the sat nav set you can turn the magnification up and uh, see what's coming ahead there you go it's a really good system as well in the Audi Hopefully when we come round, mind you, we've not, we've not got it set. I'll set it and show you that uh, we just click there for the destination, start route guidance. The routes are being calculated. It'll calculate it back to the garage and then it should show you the junctions you're at. Quickest way. And there you go. It shows you a magnified view of the, this roundabout. Please take the first exit. Just going to go up to the next junction here. Please turn half left after one mile towards so again, Manchester. As you can see there, it's highlighting the junction you're going to come off at and magnifying it as well. Try and get up to 70 before oh, I'll do it on the way back. In the centre of the dash here as well, it's showing you your uh, next junction. Stop that. Please take destination. The exit. Stop. Stop route guidance. Holds the road really well. Dear me. Here we 
go. I'll just try and get it up to 70. And I'll put the cruise on. So there we are at 70. Cruise is on. Just a little bit more than 70 there. So knock it down to 70. And it's just changed into top there. And we're doing round about 1700 revs of 70 miles an hour. Nice and quiet. Little bit of tyre noise, but huge tyres on this. Low profile tyres. It's sporty and comfortable. I think it's a prettier car than the Mercedes, um, better ride than a BMW, and probably prettier than a BMW as well. Nicely set out. steering and road holding just one input and we're straight round the motorway roundabout there no constantly changing the steering angle today again one touch of the paddle shift and it overrides the gearbox I'm not sure why anybody would want a manual car these days so automatics are so good if you want to change gear yourself, then it's as simple as pressing a button. And if you can't be bothered, the car does everything itself. All you have to do is point it. This is a really lovely car. So full history. The last two services done at IDM, I think um, one was done about 42 and the other 61. And the car's done 69. We'd probably, or we probably will service it again before it goes out and just make sure that uh, everything's working as it should, which is one of the purposes of this test drive as well. got a massive boot um, it's full of all my photography equipment at the moment and bags but there is plenty so plenty of room for four people and uh, all the luggage too let me just see I think I forgot to say, where is that card now? As always.
whenever you don't want the lights to change they do Just, uh, give the wipers a check we've got auto headlights there switch the headlights on and uh, we've got headlamp wash too two kids watching something in the road I don't know what that is IED of some type 